Well, welcome again. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, I know that we go on uh, the Max Catch site and uh, we're looking at rods and there's like 50 rods on there and we're just not going in and reading the description of why that rod is there. Um, all their 50 rods are not equal and not all 50 rods are uh, for the same uh, reason. Uh, a lot of their rods have specific uses. So today we're gonna start with just a, a few. When we go on the website and we look, uh, you have to really stop and look properly at what you're shopping for. Um, they're not just like there for no reason at all. So I'll give you a quick run through of what I have here. So here on the top is a traveler's rod. Uh, it's very short, seven piece. Uh, it's a six weight that I used to bring on uh, trips. Would fit into my luggage that I bring on the plane, bring a reel, uh, flies. If I was going to the States, well, uh, not to have any hassle with uh, customs, I would just buy flies at, uh, in the area. Tankara, which is the new thing. Um, a lot of people fishing Tankara. It's a very long 13, 14 foot rod. There's no reel. Um, it's just a braided line at the end with a leader. Um, it's mostly roll cast, so it's perfect for small rivers where you want to uh, nymph or dry fly um, to the other side without really getting into the trees behind you. So Tankara, new thing coming along, very popular. It's not actually new, it's an ancient type of fishing, but it, it is new to us. This here is a V-Lite, seven foot six, three weight. That's who I am, I like to fish light rods. Uh, so as much as possible, um, I try to bring a, a light rod and a heavier rod in case of wind. This rod in the wind, number three, is still pretty good. It casts pretty well even with some wind. So I was very impressed. Below it is the Airlite rod. It's a two weight, seven six, four piece. Um, a little less wind. And when you go down to this one here, which is a six foot one weight, well, you have to have no wind. But with these three rods, when you do catch a trout, uh, even if it's a 8-inch, 10-inch trout, you'll, you'll get some fun out of it. Uh, crappy, you'll have fun uh, with these rods because they're lightweight. But like I said, uh, you have to be careful with the wind. This is number 12, uh, V-Access, 9-foot uh, rod. Uh, basically, uh, it's short rod for heavy action. Premier Rod, which is one of my favorites, it's in the seven weight, nine foot. This is what I bring on my boat for bass. Um, cast really nice, even like uh, weighted um, skull head flies, it'll cast it really nice. The Far Glory is a nice uh, two size rod, nine foot and 10 foot six, so five weight. So basically, dry fly in the nine foot and then you want a nymph and you want to have your stick higher as your nymph goes through uh, the river well you're you'll add the section and end up 10 foot six so you've got both in one rod pink rod well that's sylvie's rod my girlfriend's rod she likes pink uh, we had first uh, picked up another brand of pink rod it was rather short and uh small so i found this one which is a a nine foot easier for her to cast she uh, she's enjoying this rod very much has a lot of success with it and it's like very bright pink when we go into uh the black star rod it's a higher quality high carbon rod it's six weight nine foot basically um one of my um, 
I happen to, because it's all black, I like black, so it's a really, really, uh, to me, beautiful rod. And it's a higher quality um, carbon that's on there. Uh, it's uh, IM12. Travel spay. So it's a spay rod, 14 feet, 9 weight, 10 weight, 6 section. So you can still bring this on, on a plane fairly well. Uh, even though it's 14 feet, casts amazing. Uh, V-nymph, basically a 10 foot V-nymph. I'll use it in the river, keep the stick high, feel as the fish bite. Below that, I have the V-switch rod, 11 foot, uh, four weight. I have a six weight too, both of them. Um, it's an optional rod in the sense that if you have trees behind you, you can add a butt to it and cast it as you would a spay rod without going behind you too much in the trees. Or you can just cast it one-handed like a regular rod. So this rod has a lot of possibility. Another nymphing rod, 10 foot. This is the uh, Nano Technology uh, MI-12 again. Beautiful rod, higher quality. Uh, warranties as you go to uh, eight, carbon eight, 10, 12, your warranty um, extends also. So just read up the descriptions because that's where most of your price difference is and it's important. So M12 Nano, nymphing rod again. And then my one of my daughter's rods is the Ultra Glass. They like the fiberglass, both of them. Um, it's good because um, they're 17 and 20 and the fiberglass has a little more weight and you feel their line a little more when they're uh, casting forward and backwards. And this is not all their rods, but this is like what I have. Those are my rods, except for these two, my daughter and my girlfriend's rod. These are all mine. This is all stuff I fish and I have more uh, that I still fish. I like to learn how to cast different uh, rods and you having rods that fit different uses. So go on the website, but read the description. There's more to the title. Um, there's a description area, go read it because there's a difference in the rods. I don't even have a gold rod here. They have the gold rods and it repeats with most of the weights. Then uh, you have the black, the black star. You, uh, there's a few, levels of rod go look read the description all right thanks a lot i'll see you guys soon and we'll talk more about the difference in the rods in the next videos all right thanks a lot bye guys